Good afternoon and welcome to the 21st annual exhibit of hydrogen and fuel cell technologies. I'd like to invite you to have a seat. The drinks are on the house and we'll be discussing innovations in fuel cell technology and everything that belongs to that. Um, it's a noisy industry sometimes, but there are people who are working on silent solutions. Uh, storage is a big issue. Uh, and uh, we'll be discussing with John Erickson, who's general manager at Historius AS, uh, silent thermal compression with metal hydrides. Please welcome with me, Dr. John Erickson. Thank you. Thanks for the nice introduction. Yes, um, as this metal hydride technology is quite unique um, technology and these compressors are not very familiar to many of you maybe then I would like to start out with some um, where where are we these days so we have done two systems proof of concept they are we have been operating for almost 5,000 hours we have been through a cost reduction program and we have made a new design that is uh, ideally suited for industries, renewable hydrogen <coughs> systems, and uh, uh, bottling of hydrogen. And we have uh, a TRL level of uh, 8 to 9, means that we are ready for deliveries. Unique features about this uh, metal hydro technology is that it has almost no moving parts. It's a solid state solution. It means low maintenance costs, high safety, uh, silent, no vibrations. They are uh, flexible in their installation. They can be wall mounted. There's not many compressors that can do that. We guarantee the gas purity as uh, impurities will be stuck by the metal high ride. They are scalable and uh, if you have waste heat available, they can be operated with no energy costs. As I said, we have been through two proof of concept uh, systems. One <coughs> uh, HiMac 5 and one HiMac 10. They are both uh, two-stage compressor systems, uh, starting at uh, low pressure, uh, like uh, six bar coming out from a PSI system and uh, delivering hydrogen at 200 bar, easily for uh, bottling of hydrogen. Our core competence is on the metal hydride. And uh, for those of you not familiar with the metal hydro technology, when you put an alloy into a, a vessel, you can actually store more hydrogen in that vessel at a low pressure than without the powder itself. So it means that we have a very high density of hydrogen on a low pressure. So the low pressure hydrogen we take into our vessel, we cool the unit while the hydrogen is absorbed by the metal hydride or by the metal, forming the metal hydride. And then by applying heat to the system on a later stage, hydrogen will be disabsorbed from the uh, vessel at a much higher pressure. So if we start here at the point D, with the low content of hydrogen in the unit, and we're cooling it, we're applying the hydrogen at low pressure, increasing the hydrogen content in the unit, and arriving at point A, still at quite low pressure, but at a very high hydrogen content in the unit. Then we close off the system, so it's a batch operation, and we in increase the, uh, the, the temperature of the system, increasing also the pressure of the hydrogen. And we reach point B in this scheme. And from there, we deliver high-pressure hydrogen by still applying heat to the unit. 
as long as there's hydrogen available, and then we reach point C, where the uh, hydrogen is uh, emptied, and we start the process all over again. So we are here for the very first time some operational data, uh, long term, for this uh, proof of concept system. We have been playing around with a different uh, type of uh, parameters. So it's not so stable as you might like to see. But what it very clearly shows that is the, the one of the parameters that we have been playing with is the temperature difference and how uh, the, the throughput rate of the system then is uh, connected with the delta T in the system. However, at all time, we are a, uh, it is possible for us to deliver hydrogen at the 200 bar output that we have specified. So all these learnings from uh, almost 5,000 hours of operation from these proof of concept systems, we have taken all that learnings into a new design. We have been through this um, cost reduction program, lowering the investment cost for the system. We have made it smaller, more compact, more energy efficient. We have lowered the, um, the the heating fluid temperature, and we have uh, made it much more easier to do maintenance, because in the, in the proof of concept systems this was not an, a key a key issue, but this is something that we have taken care of now. So from from this rather bulky uh, uh, setup in the picture, we have come through very nice, uh, small, simple uh, solutions. And we can even make the system as a flat design. It makes it very uh, flexible also when it comes to how to do the engineering on this. And it's very scalable in this way. Typical customers for for our systems would be uh, industrial applications for um, bottling or for storing hydrogen uh, as a backup, or as we do at Hynod Lillestrøm, uh, as a first stage compressor system for uh, refueling stations. We also have um, the possibility to use these systems to harvest uh, renewable energy. Uh, in combination with uh, with the hydrogen systems, so uh, storing the hydrogen at uh, at some pressure. In combination with uh, high temperature fuel cells, that that's also uh, uh, one provider of hydrogen that uh, is easily suited for us since they also have uh, thermal energy available. Bottling of hydrogen, as we saw. Uh, deliver uh, hydrogen at 200 bar, so uh, it's good. Reformers, we demonstrated with this uh, smaller proof of concept uh, unit that we have that we can take, the, um, we can start from six bar, coming straight out of a PSI uh, uh, unit. And this is a typical scheme, in a way, in how to, to harvest renewable energy. The renewable energy that is not used directly can be used for heating uh, water, for instance, and also in a, an electrolyzer. And then the compressor takes the heat from, from the, the water heater, compresses the hydrogen, and uh, stores that in, in bottles that can be used for fuel cells and these things on a later stage. We also have the industrial application scheme, where there's some kind of uh, uh, industry that uses hydrogen at all time, and, and there's an electrolyzer on site that takes pro or provides the, the industry with 
with the needed hydrogen. And then some, some of the, this hydrogen stream is shipped on to our uh, compressor system, and there's heat taken from the industry uh, process that is fed into the, the compressor system, and in this sense, make the compression for free. So the conclusion is that uh, we have done the proof of concept successful. We have do done through R&D activities. Uh, we have proven and improved the technology. Important partnerships are in place, but uh, we are still interested in, uh, in uh, expanding that. But uh, we are ready for uh, market deliveries. And uh, we provide a very unique way of compressing hydrogen. So I would just like to thank uh, our uh, main investor, Norsk Innovations Capital, for their uh, dedicated uh, contribution. And uh, please come and visit us at booth B60, the Norwegian booth. Thank you. So, are there any questions from the audience? Mm. Yes. Just a quick question. How much hydrogen can be stored in one cubic meter of metal hydrate in your solution? Depends on the, on, on the alloy, but typically um, we, we uh, state this according to weight percent. So like uh, two eight percent would be typical figure. What is your alloy? What is alloy in the tank? The you alloy use, you use yes. For the compressor system, this two-stage compressor system, we use two types of alloys. One is an AB two, and the other one is an AB five. I can't reveal the exact. Uh, composition, unfortunately. Some of it you can find in the literature, actually. <laughs> but there are those secrets, aren't there? <laughs> There's some secrets. This is our core competence. <laughs> well, um, and applications, there's so much to discuss here. Uh, metal hydrides have made a return this year. Um, uh, uh, mobile applications, um, uh, fascinating topic. Is that one of the applications you are envisaging for your technology? The compressor, compressor would be on the, on the fuel, uh, refueling station. Mm -hmm. And we have demonstrated that at Hino Lillestrøm, this as a first stage compressor system. And then there's a mechanical compressor that takes from 200 to 850 or 900 bars. Okay. So um, uh, we've run out of time, but uh, you can continue the conversation at booth B60 with Dr. Jan Eriksson, who's general manager at Historsis. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Back in one minute.